Someone once described the cinema as an acre of seats in a garden of dreams, which is exactly what it is. It really is about going into this dark room and having this light in front of you and that light taking you somewhere else. If we had come to the other side and so many of those doors had been closed, a lot of us would have regretted not Absolutely. buying a ticket sooner. You know, it's not, not, not that far-fetched that that would be the case. For the community, for children, we used to have a cinema back in the day. That got closed down. This is a time capsule. It's just an incredible survivor. It's kind of like Cher or Madonna. Audiences want to experience storytelling together. Wow. It reminds you to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this film burned, and they all thought it was part of the film. It's Tarantino. It's Tarantino, exactly. It reminds you to cry, it reminds you to be quiet. All of that is part of what is fantastic about this. They all have such a unique identity. This is a proper, proper projection room. This show is about cinemas. It's a cinema show, independent cinemas. We do wonder if this is finally the death of cinema. Let's get back in there and help keep them going. It's much more than just the film experience. Hello? It's the cinema experience. Oh, oh I've ruined it. <laughs> I've turned around. It's totally unique, not only the building, but we who run it and the people that come here. If you've got an independent cinema, support it. They will be run by people who are passionate. The staff are huge when it comes to independent cinemas. And probably put a lot of hours and a lot of effort into keeping it open. There must be people also who really rely on going to the cinema. That's part of their daily life and it's how they deal with the realities of life. It's just wall-to-wall -wall history. Yeah, history so cinema. much history. The first demonstration of deep sea diving happened just over there. Seriously? Yes. This is the original 1915 roof. I've never seen this anywhere. There was a murder in here. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on. And inside is the original 1915 auditorium. Welcome back to 1915. I'm absolutely speechless. There is worryingly a definite correlation between projectionists and serial killers, though. All right. You're not going to kill me, are you? <laughs> <laughs>